Hi, I'm Old Sneelock. Welcome to another episode of Old Sneelock's Workshop. The trick's going to be to get my big fat paws in there and get this spring mounted into that little bar using that pin and then hang this on it. Yeah, that's going to be an interesting situation. This part supposed to have that attached to it so that it looks like this one pretty close to the same they're not exactly the same but they're the same length and similar shape this top piece is a little bigger on the broken one than it is on the new one but don't think it'll make any difference. There's a difference in the way this pin fits. This pin fits right into this one, no problem. Just slides right in. On this one, the hole is smaller. So now I have to go drill that hole out to a different size just so everything goes together. Interesting. Well, that'll be some delicate work. Okay, that's the drill that I want to put in. There we go, just need a little backer on it. A little too wobbly. Ah, now we got a hole we can put a pin through. Good. This is the part number, and I had to drill it out. Kind of a fussy little project putting a hole in that. Fortunately, it didn't have to go through the spring. It only had to go through the little metal clip. Because I think the spring would have been a bit harder to get through.
Well. Looks like I've got it hanging in there where it belongs. Now I'll just have to see how well it holds up. I'll have the pin in and I have the little arm in and I have the suspension spring for the pendulum. Now I just have to hang that pendulum back on there. Of course, that's where it all went to pieces last time. So we just have to see how that does. Well, the pendulum is hanging. We have a clock ticking. Now it remains to be seen if it's going to operate at the right speed. I will probably have to do some adjustments on pendulum length. And if I've done this right, I'll be able to, I should have to lengthen it, if anything. And I have room to lengthen it. Well, if nothing else, Howard's ticking again. You can see the second hand going around. And then, uh, we have to go through and set everything. But I'm not going to do that until I let it run a while and see just what the speed is going to be. But before I do that, I have to move it back into the corner again, which means taking the weights off. Okay. This video is not to be viewed by anyone under the age of 13 in the U.S. or 16 in the European Union without the express written permission of the parents or the legal guardians of the underage person. Such written permission must be on file at the local government entity in charge of enforcing the rules and regulations established by the FTC. Anyone violating these terms is admitting by default that they hold harmless the owners and operators of this channel. Any and all questions should be addressed to your local branch of the FTC.